Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 39, the screencast that is powered purely by generators. I'm Ryan Shane, and in this episode we'll be talking about generators. So we just showed an example of creating a class that used the iter method and the next method to do the same sort of thing as sort of the, the built-in methods. You can have a for loop and loop through using next and um, you know automatically be able to loop through. But there's something that makes it a little bit more clear in Python called generators. Now, when we created our class, we had to have self dot data, and we kept a um, we kept an index that was the length of the data that was passed into it. This wasn't entirely clear, and in generators, um, it's sort of like a regular definition, except you instead of using in, instead of using return, you use yield at the end of it. And it will do some cool things like remember state and automatically create this iter in the next method for you. So let's take a look. We're going to do the same thing, uh, but in this case a lot more succinctly. Def reverse data. So pass some data into this definition reverse for index in range length data minus one, minus one minus one. Okay, so if you remember from the range function you can pass more than just a number to it. You can say um, the optional what do I want to start on? In this case I'm going to start on the last item. The last item is length of whatever you passed in minus one. Uh, I want you to continue until negative one and I want you to move down one uh, each time through. So this for loop is going to iterate through. Uh, this range just to give us just to give us an index number and we want to yield so instead in, instead of return uh, what makes this a generator is just by using yield data whatever was passed into us of what what is the index is index so this range for loop here is what's sort of counting down from the last item to the first and we're just yielding a single item back. So automatically next the next method was created and automatically the underscore underscore iter underscore underscore method was created. So now we can say for care in reverse. This is the same thing that we did before with with a lot more words. Uh, print care and it reversed it worked just as we wanted that's all for now this screencast is directly inspired by the official python tutorial by guido van rossum at python.org